Hey guys, uh, welcome to appmaking.com. So in this video, I'm going to explain about how to implement the pop-up button inside your Flutter project. So the final output is going to look something like this. So here you can see we are having the pop-up menu button. And if you tap on this, so we will navigate from another page called contact. And if you tap on the about and we will navigate to the about page. This is what we are going to implement right now. So if you are new to this channel, uh, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's see how to implement the pop-up button inside our project. So first I created a new project and I have uh, created a main dot dot and uh, I created a separate file called pop-up menu button example. Uh, inside this particular page, so we have created a simple scaffold and inside the app bar, so we have action. So the output looks something like this. So here we, we can see the app bar with the title and now we are going to implement the pop-up button. So in generally in a real life, the pop-up button is used for uh, displaying menu button, uh, something like this. So you can see the menu button over here, right? So that is where the pop-up button will be used but um, in many cases you can use inside the body also but uh, most most cases you will use the pop-up button inside the app bar only to display the pop-up menu button so we have to use the widget called pop-up menu button and inside the menu button so we need to pass the item builder so the item builder is nothing but a function which returns the uh, pop-up menu item so here it's going to be the build context and here I need to return some list of uh, widgets. So I'm going to return. So I'm going to manually pass the list. So here inside the list, I'm going to pass the pop-up button item. So here you can see we have the pop-up menu item. So here you can, as of now, I'm just going to create a text widget. So let's save this and see how the output looks like. So now you can see we have a menu button, pop-up menu button. So if you click this, so I can see the uh, particular data. If you want to implement some logic when you click this particular uh, button, so we can write something like this. On selected, so here we will get the value. So inside the value, inside the on selected, so you can write your loan logic. So to get the value, so inside the pop-up button, so here we can pass the value. Let's say for example, if it is a hello text, so we can pass the value something like hello. So let's create a few more pop-up button. And as of now, I'm going to print the value over here. So this value is nothing but, so whatever value we are passing over here, okay? So I'm going to save this and see how the output looks like. So here you can see when I click this particular button, so now we are seeing the three options. So if I click any of the thing, so here you can see inside the console, so we can see the value. If I click contact, so inside the contact, inside the console, so we are seeing the value. So here uh, you can see like we are having some warning. So what we can do, we can convert entire uh, output as a constant. So now the warning has been disappeared. Uh, inside the on selected, what you can do right now, we are passing the value, right? So instead of that, so uh, you can uh, add some logic. Let's say for example, uh, if you want to uh, see like what is the selected value inside the body, so we can use the set state. So what I'm going to do here, after the app board, so we have, we have the body in center position. I'm going to pass the widget called text. So I'm going to create a variable called selected item. So I'm going to update this value when the user is selected using the set state. So when the user uh, select any of the menu, so the selected item will change. Uh, here we have to pass some default value. So right now I'm just going to pass the empty string. So since it is an empty string, so here I need to convert as a to string. So if I save this, so here you can see the output. If I click any of the thing, so here you can see we are saying that particular thing. You can also use the pop-up menu button for a navigation purpose. So let's say for example, right now we are updated the value over here, right? Inside the same UI. Uh, instead, you can pass the, uh, like when the user click this button, so you can also navigate from uh, one page to another page. So let's see how to implement that. So here, when the user click any of the button, so here I need to navigate.
So here you can see we are uh, using the navigator dot push name and uh, here the value dot to string. So which is nothing but so we are getting this uh, value as the route name. Okay. Uh, in case if you don't know how to uh, navigate from one page to another page using the like a uh, routing and all. So I have a separate video for that. Uh, you can watch that particular video. So now we have to create a multiple pages. So at what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a multiple files. So now I have created a multiple pages called the hello contact and about uh, which is nothing but uh, we have the app board and the center uh, text and all. So now we need to create a route for that. So for that I'm going to uh, the main dot dot. So here I can create a routes. So now I successfully created a route, but uh, here you can see inside the route name. So we surely use the hyphen, right? But uh, inside the menu button, uh, we are passing the value like a uh, uh, direct thing without uh, having the backslash. So let me add that. So now what will happen? So when the user click this menu button, so we will automatically navigate from the multiple pages. Let's see how it's going to work. So if I click this, we are navigating to the contact page. And uh, if I go to the about page, so here you can see the about page is going and if I go to the hello and we are having the hello page. This is how you can implement the pop-up menu button inside your flutter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are facing any issue or if you have any doubt, so feel free to reach me. Thank you. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.